Hi everyone! Welcome to our final week, week eight, day one. This is so exciting. Our posture today is plow pose, so a fun little inversion. So feel free to grab a blanket and maybe a couple blocks um, if you think that it might assist you in this posture. And let's get started. So we're going to start in child's pose today. So bring your big toes together, your knees nice and wide, and slowly walk your hands down, gently resting your frontal lobe onto the mat. Take a nice deep inhale. And then exhale, feeling your chest release towards the mat. Feel every inhale swelling your whole body with fresh air and light and energy. Empowering your muscles nourishing your organs and let's inhale our arms up behind the body clasping our hands behind our backs and pulling them up towards the ceiling gently rocking our shoulders back and forth and rocking on our frontal lobes Breathing as we rock. And maybe use those arms to feel like you're pulling up, rising up into high knee, dropping them towards your heels, and bringing your chest up towards the ceiling. And then exhale as you slowly lower your frontal lobe to the mat, bending onto your knees again. Let's inhale, rise up, pulling our arms, opening up through the chest. Exhale, fold forward into our modified child's pose. Inhale, rising up onto our knees. And then exhale, fold forward, gently awakening the spine with gentle waves. We rise up. And then exhale, fold forward once again. Let's release our hands at this time, bringing the left hand over to the left heel and inhaling, rising up, opening up the right arm towards the ceiling. Now let's bend, folding over, bringing that right arm to the right heel. So we inhale our left arm up. Exhale, dive forward, swanning our arms over, dropping that left hand to the left heel as we inhale. This is almost like a half camel. Exhale, drop over, rising up over to the right side. You can use a block next to your heels if this helps. Slowly lower, rise up, pushing the pelvis forward as we rise. Now maybe release both arms and come into our camel, pushing our chest towards the ceiling. Like I mentioned, you can grab your blocks and place them over to the outer edges of the heel, keeping our hips over our knees and pushing that pelvis forward. Let's open up through the front body. Let's slowly release now, returning our blocks over to the front of the mat at this time. And then bringing our hips over our knees, we're gonna walk our hands down into extended puppy pose. So gently release your chest and your frontal lobe to the mat. And allow your shoulders to open up. Feeling a gentle stretch through the lower back and the upper back. If you want a deeper stretch, you can even place your forearms on your blocks. Gently release your frontal lobe in between your forearms. Opening up through the shoulders. Let's 
stretch always feels so good. And when you're ready, you can gently release your blocks over to the side now. And we're going to come into a nice seated position. So let's extend our legs out in front of the body. We're going to make our spine nice and long. So a deep inhale as you broaden, opening up through that front body. Nice neutral spine. And let's inhale those arms up overhead. And then exhale, release them behind the body, clasping our fingertips and then opening up. And see if you can plant them on the mat behind the body and isometrically pull them towards you. So when I say isometrically pull, it feels like you're pulling them towards you, but you're not actually moving them. So you're just basically activating the muscles in the arms without actually moving the arms. And you should feel your shoulder blades squeezing together and opening up through the chest muscles. And now let's gently release and inhale our arms up, pivoting so our palms are facing the ceiling. And then exhale, forward fold. Maybe you can hook your palms around your feet. Inhale that spine long. Or you can also grab a strap um, to assist you in this stretch. So you can either hold like this in a nice forward fold with your spine long. Or you can flip those palms to towards you and hook them around your feet. Spine long and then exhale, release yourself into the stretch. Allowing your spine to round and just breathing, opening up through the backs of the legs, through those hamstrings. And then inhale, rise up to a seated position again and release your hands. We're going to come onto our back, so slowly roll down. And let's place our palms on the mat next to us and gently under our butts, actually. We're going to inhale our legs up and do a little glute kick, so... Bring them back down, bring them up, pulse that booty off the mat as you extend your legs long. Inhale, pulse. And this is just giving us the feeling of kind of bringing our legs up and over the body. So don't let those legs fall, let them hover on the mat. Inhale them up and almost push them over. Inhale, glute kick, maybe hold a little longer with each time you come up. Kick up, hold and release. Use your forearms, pushing them into the mat when you come up to help slowly release your booty as you come down. Inhale, hold, 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 and release back down. Let's bend those knees, bringing the feet um, up by the booty. And we're just going to rest our abs a moment and then inhale up into bridge, so pushing that pelvis towards the ceiling and just holding and then release. Inhale up, pulling our knees together and release back down. Up, squeezing the glutes and release. Inhale up, squeeze, release. And release back down. Inhale up and then release once more. Let's extend those legs long now. Keep our hands, walk our hands under our booty again. Push up onto our forearms as we bring our chest up and see if we can come into that fish pose we learned a long time ago. So rest the crown of your head on the mat, squeezing the arms together and using your forearms to push the chest up. We're gently resting our, the crown of our head on the mat, but we're not putting any weight on it. And if that's too uncomfortable, you can always grab a block as well and put it where your head's going to be and gently rest your head on the block just to get a little more height in this posture so you're not crunching on your neck. 
Once again, you're pushing through those forearms, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Legs still engaged and active. And then we can slowly release. Remove your block if you had one. Send it over to the side. And let's bend our knees now and bring our feet towards our butts once again. Place our palms on the mat next to the body. Let's inhale into that bridge once more and then exhale, release. Inhale up to bridge and exhale, release. Inhale up, exhale. Inhale, squeezing the knees and thighs together, squeezing those glutes and release. Maybe at the top this time you hold and you place your hands under your lower back to kind of support yourself and push your pelvis forward towards the ceiling. Maybe walk your shoulder blades in a little more. And gently support that lumbar spine. Maybe you inhale that left leg up and over and see if you can pivot your weight so that you come up onto your shoulders flip those grips and maybe you drop those legs over behind the body pressing your toes into the floor squeezing your thighs strong active legs as we come into our posture of the day you can keep your hands supporting your lower back or you can also gently release them onto the mat pressing through those forearms to support your neck And just breathe. If this is too much for you, you can keep your knees bent and support your lower back with your hands. And you can also place a blanket under your shoulders um, to kind of give you a little more lift if needed. So this is what it would look like with your knees bent. And then just slowly release yourself back down. And clasp your knees to your chest. And just breathe a moment, reconnecting with your breath. So we entered plow pose from bridge pose our first time. And so now we're going to show you how to enter it from doing those ab crunches that we did. So reverse crunch and do that booty pulse at the top and see if you can almost catch yourself by putting your arms on your lower back and holding your legs up there. And then you can slowly release them behind the body. And then this is the modified version with the knees bent where you're kind of pulling them towards your shoulders. Toes still on the floor, legs still active. Or if you would like, you can once again extend them over, squeezing those thighs together and gently supporting your lower back. When you're ready to release from the pose, gently bend your knees and use them to slowly rock yourself down and back up. <clears throat> if you would like to try it with a towel or a blanket at this time, you can kind of position it where your um, shoulder blades will be and just before your neck. So kind of try to find a little comfortable position and then gently kind of glute kick yourself up and over and it should kind of provide a little space so you're not dumping into your neck if that was an issue for you and if you do have neck problems you can refrain from practicing this posture um, or at least talk to your doctor just in case to get reassurance that it's okay for you but um, using the towel kind of gently relieves a little bit of that pressure on the neck muscles if you find that a little irritating And we'll slowly release once again. So grasping those knees and kind of using your arms to slowly lower yourself out of the posture. Gently rocking out of it. And then hugging your knees to your chest. Good. 
Reconnect with your breath. Let's bring our chin up towards our knees and do a full body squeeze. So engage everything. Fully squeeze, 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 and then slowly release. Dropping your legs now. And let's kind of twist over and come into Sphinx pose on our stomachs. So bringing our elbows just out in front of the shoulders. Engaging the core, pressing the tops of the feet into the mat. Let's just hold this posture. If you'd like, you can take your left hand and thread it um, behind your right arm and then slowly lower your, yourself onto that left arm. Gently moving until you can feel a nice stretch through the arm, maybe rocking back and forth. Allowing yourself to release. And then remove it at this time. And now let's thread our right arm under the body, releasing ourselves onto that arm. And finding a position that feels good. Gently rock back and forth, giving yourself a nice chest stretch, a nice shoulder stretch. Very gentle. You can rock or you can just relax, unwinding after our practice. When you're ready, you can slowly release. And let's tent those fingertips next to the body. And inhale, rise up, allowing your head to hang heavy towards the top. And then bringing it up at the very end into some funky cobras. Exhale, release. Inhale, rise up, pushing the mat away. And releasing back down. Let's come back into Sphinx Pose now, maybe gently rocking our neck back and forth. Uh, whatever feels good right now. Just maybe doing some slight circles in one direction. Big expansive circles with each breath. And switching direction, going the other way. Really massaging those neck muscles. Good. Maybe up and down now, getting full extension and flexion of the cervical spine. Like you're shaking your head, yes, I want that cookie later. Save it for me. <laughs> yeah. Now we can gently release back onto our backs. Let's hug our knees one more time. Giving them a nice hug. Maybe using our arms to make circles with our knees. Kind of feeling the different areas of the lower back. Getting a nice massage against the mat. Be rocking them in one direction and then the other. Allowing your knees to just rest and let your arms just guide the movement. Good. Now use your left hand and let's guide those knees over to the left side now. Releasing them, allowing them to hang heavy towards the mat. As you open up that right arm to the right side, gaze following those right fingertips. Let's just take a couple deep breaths. When you're ready, you can release and use your right arm to guide them over to the right side now. 
extending your left hand over to the left and following your fingertips with your gaze. Feeling that gentle stretch through the spine and the stretch. And then let's release back up and slowly come into Shavasana. And place your hands on your stomach to reconnect with your breath if you would like. Feel that rise with every inhale. Abdomen swelling with air. Feeling that breath flow through the body. Entering every little muscle from your tippy toes to your frontal lobe. Imagine your body swelling, swelling with light and energy. And feeling a gratitude for our practice and all that our bodies allow us to do. Allow that gratitude to replace any negative thoughts or emotions you might have. And just let it fill you with positive energy for this life you live, for all of your blessings, for the family and friends that you can count on each and every day. Let's just be grateful for this life.